march I ever led, I was surrounded by all kinds of people. Old women who found it hard to walk across the room somehow found the strength to march for miles. Young men and women carrying their children, older children holding hands of their younger sisters and brothers. All of a sudden, a bottle was thrown from the middle of a crowd of whites. Now, we shouted duck, and all the adults did, but children, children have a need to know what's being done. The bottle struck this young child, cut the whole left side of her face. None of us had time to get angry then. We rushed to protect her, to console her help stop the bleeding, but we marched on. Then a few moments later, this huge white man must have been bigger than the truck he was driving in that night. This man, with all his force, yelled to go home, you little nigger bastard, screaming at this young boy. He couldn't have been older than seven or eight. And I saw the look on this child's face. He was scared and hurt and maybe most of all ashamed. He thought he'd done something terribly wrong to have all that hate directed toward him. Now I can get angry. With all the history that makes me a black man, I can get angry, but it's a different kind of anger. It's the kind of anger that makes you know you can't stop loving you. You can't stop believing. It's the kind of anger that makes you want to prove hate wrong.